So this is part two of my Blu-ray and DVD pickups. And yeah, so let's get back into the video. Then uh, on Wednesday, I believe, uh, I had a run out. Uh, I took an extra long lunch and had to run out to CX uh, over in Darlington, which I went to a couple of weeks ago because I had a, a Blu-ray that I needed to return because they'd given me the wrong disc. And while I was there, um, yeah, I picked up a bunch of stuff. All of this uh, was paid for with vouchers, so there was actually no uh, cash um, transaction. It was all stuff that I'd traded in over the last couple of weeks. Um, so uh, the only DVD I got was Bugs. This is the complete second series. Um, this was a great show back in the 90s. Um, I don't own, there was only, I think there was three, was there three or four series? I think there was only three. Um, but I don't have the first one, I don't have the third one. Um, this is the first one that I've managed to get. Uh, then on Blu-ray, uh, Focus. Um, this was okay, it, was, it wasn't as wasn't as good as 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 I was hoping it would be, but uh, yeah, it was it was okay. Uh, for a quid, year one. This is not the best film, but it's yeah, it's good for a laugh. Uh, again, for a pound, X Men Origins the Wolverine. I didn't have that one. Three uh, D edition of Prometheus. Uh, the cover. This had a valid iTunes um, digital copy which I was really surprised uh, this is what at least five years old now is it um, it's very rare that and then it, 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 it does still happen from time to time but it's very rare that uh, iTunes digital copies from you know, five six seven eight years ago however long um, still work but this one did and that's the 3D edition as well, I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, Madagascar 2, Escape to Africa, uh, 150. Machine Gun Preacher, uh, that was also 150. Uh, it didn't come with a slipcover, I already had this slipcover in my uh, collection of slipcovers. And some 3D Universe, again another one in a slipcover, this is a... A pretty poor lenticular. Uh, in the name of the king, a dungeon siege tale. Uh, some Jason Statham again. That was one fifty. Sin City and Sin City Two. I haven't seen the second one. Um, saw the first one years and years ago. It's not the greatest film, um, but I would definitely like to. Uh, a rewatch uh, on Blu-ray and and the second one, not a rewatch but a watch. Uh, 3D of Monster House. Um, this was quite cheap, two pound fifty. Uh, I didn't notice at the time until I got home. This is a promotional copy, so I don't know if this was one of those ones that was given away with uh, with the early 3D TVs. I've got a, a few others. Um, the Mega Mind. Uh, this is it, and Monsters vs. Aliens, which all just happen to be next to each other on the shelf because of the way they, uh, they are alphabetically. But they're they're all promos that uh, uh, came with 3D, either 3D Blu-rays or 3D TVs um, back in the, I guess, 2009, 2010 sort of era, somewhere around then. Uh, moving on. Uh, Jackie Chan, the Chinese Zodiac. Um, this is the third in a series of films which, for the life of me, has completely gone um, from my memory. Uh, but there were one, the first one, I believe, came out in the 80s, and the second one came out in the 90s, and they are called. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, it'll come to me as soon as I finish recording. Uh, anyway, moving on. Sanctum, uh, that was a quid. Don't know, I've never seen that one. Uh, Hateful Eight uh, for a fiver with a slipcover. 
really chuffed about that. I haven't watched this yet. Uh, again, with the slip cover, the Expendables. Uh, that was a quid. And the Expendables 2, which was 150. Uh, don't know anything about this, but it was a pound. The bling ring. Uh, it looks like some kind of rom com, maybe. Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I love the first one. Uh, I hear this one isn't quite as good, um, but I would like to see it. Uh, some more 3D. Uh, Hugo 3D. Awesome movie. Uh, disaster movie. As it turns out, I already own this film. Um, which I didn't realise, but it was only 50p, so... And then finally from that trip... Uh, Trance, which was uh, £1.50. Then, on Friday, after work, I've been looking, uh, like I mentioned before, at the, uh, the Marvel 3D movies and what I actually needed to finish that collection and as it turned out not that many uh, and I was looking at the local um, or fairly local CEXs to see who had what in store and there were four that I was looking at no five stores that I was looking at um, as it turned out I only had time to visit two of them um, yeah I spent way too much time Wandering around the town, looking in different shops and charity shops and whatnot. Um, but I did pick up a few. I, I honestly can't remember which of these came from which of the two shops. Um, but they're all from CEX. Uh, so firstly, I got Warcraft The Beginning, uh, 3D edition. Again with a lenticular slipcover. Uh, I've heard mixed things about this. Um, but quite a few people... Um, that I trust when it comes to uh, reviewing movies. I've said this is pretty good, so I'm going to give it a go. And also in 3D, this was a fiver. Uh, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Um, the lenticular on this is really poor. Uh, and this one I had to get Wonder Woman in 3D. Uh, This was hyped up so much and I wanted to love this movie. I went into it knowing that it was going to be an awesome film. Um, it was good, it was fine, it was okay. It did not live up to that hype, not at all. Um, I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying this, but I prefer Suicide Squad. Um, I thought that was a better movie. Um, the 3D in this was great, uh, but yeah, the, that first 40 minutes or so um, dragged so much. Uh, yeah, there we go. I got Fringe, the complete first series. Uh, it was only three quid. Uh, another one in that slip cover. I loved this show when it was on. Um, I think this is one of the very last, maybe not the very last. I'm still watching stuff like Walking Dead um, week to week but most shows now I will either wait till they're finished and binge watch them on Netflix or Amazon Prime or even wait for the Blu-ray to be released and watch them that way um, there's very few shows now that I'll actually watch week to week as they're aired and this was one show I actually started from the very first episode as it was aired and watched the entire series, all five series uh, as they aired um, so it would be quite nice to go back to this actually to maybe not binge watch the entire series because it's, it's, it's what, 26 episodes per series certainly in chunks of you know 8 to 10 maybe at a time maybe 6 I don't know, but uh, certainly to 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 watch it in a much shorter time scale than when I originally did. 
me how it was an awesome show. Uh, then moving on to the Marvel Steelbooks, uh, Steelbooks, Marvel 3D Blu rays that I got. Uh, Doctor Strange, again, with a slip cover. And First Guardians of the Galaxy, once again, with a slip cover. And I believe now, with what I've got on the shelf, and those four that I've got over the last just over a week, um, that's it. That's every Marvel 3D movie. I'm hoping, I know Spider Man's coming out, but that's not out yet. Um, the artwork on that is all of these come with these specific red bordered slip covers. Um, there's sort of the crescent at the top. And the uh, the Blu-ray 3D logo. Um, from what I've seen of the Spider-Man one, the the change in it. Um, so whether that's something that they're going to do moving forward or or what, I don't know. Um, it didn't make a lot of difference because when they're on the shelf, you see them from the side anyway, and they're not all the same colour, um, and they're not even you know um, matching on the on the spines. Um, but anyway, we'll see when that one comes out. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, two Avengers movies, three Captain America, just the one Iron Man, two Thor, um, and now Ant-Man, Doctor Strange and two Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I think that's all of them that's been released in 3D. Um, at least I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, so anyway, moving on. I also grabbed the Blu-ray 3D of Assassin's Creed. Again, this is a film that's uh, a lot of people don't like. Um, I've never played the game, uh, just like World of Warcraft. I've never played that game. I still really want to see this. Uh, and then finally, from that uh, trip out to CX on Friday, I got a steelbook. It's not very often I buy a steelbook these days unless it's one that's brand new and I have to get it. Um, yeah, this was uh, Triple X, uh, Return of Xander Cage. Uh, it was a tenner. The standard edition is eight quid at CEX and nowhere locally had that edition. So I got the steelbook uh, and this had a valid iTunes code. Um, I'm really happy to see, and it's, this isn't the first one I've had this year, but I'm really happy to see iTunes doing digital cuts again with the uh, releases. Uh, for me, they're much easier to watch on my TV. Uh, ultraviolets are okay for uh, you know mobile devices, iPads and iPhones and things like that. Um, but watching them on the TV is nigh impossible. I haven't found any kind of app that... Uh, work on PlayStation 3 or Xbox or Apple TV or any of those. Um, I've tried uh, mirroring from my phone to the Apple TV and the picture quality, even when it's supposed to be in HD, looks horrible uh, when it's mirrored. So uh, yeah, Apple, iTunes, digital, for me, iTunes digital codes are much better than uh, Ultraviolets. Um, that said, I still prefer to get the physical media. But if it comes with a digital cord, then I'm more than happy to to use that. Um, sometimes you just want to point the remote at the telly and pick a movie. Um, but this was good. I enjoyed this. Um, uh, some of it was ridiculous. Um, Far fetched beyond belief, but uh, a lot of these action movies are these days. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy that. Uh, and then this last lot, um, these all came from cash converters in Peterley, I think. No, Hartlepool. Uh, uh, yeah, Hartlepool. Um, which is where one of the stops I had on Friday. Um, and a bunch of Blu-rays. 
Uh, so firstly, for a quid, I got Independence Day, and also for a pound from Dust Till Dawn 2. Then these last lot, um, now there's nothing here that's going to make you go, wow. Um, these are all, uh, I'm not even going to say common titles because half of these I've never heard of. Um, but for 20 pence each, for Blu-rays, I had to. Um, yeah, so 20 pence, Holy Rollers. Um, I've heard of this film, I've never seen it. Uh, I've never heard of this film and I've never seen it, but for 20 pence, um, with uh, Vinnie Jones and Dolph Lundgren, for that matter, uh, Hard Rush, uh, Ocean's 13, uh, not a bad film, um, it's not as good as Ocean's 11, um, but yeah, it's enjoyable um, for 20p, and it's also one of the uh, dreaded Warner releases that came out on HD DVD that uh, are prone to uh, disc rot so to get a Blu-ray replacement for that more than happy uh, again never heard of this panic button it was 20p what can I say um, I do like Bill Bailey uh, I've never seen any of his stand-up I've only ever seen him on uh, stuff like QI and um, 8 out of 10 cats and things like that, but uh, it's usually pretty funny. Oh, and um, never mind the buzzcocks, of course. Uh, but yeah, Dandelion Man, uh, 20p. <laughs> uh, another uh, Warner Brothers HD DVD replacement, no reservations, never seen it. Uh, the Great North, it's an IMAX thing, um, looks like it's about uh, the Arctic. Alan Carr, Sexy Beast, this is a DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, and finally, did you hear about The Morgans? Again, this is a film that I've heard of, uh, I've never seen, but I've heard that it's pretty poor. But, uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. Right, here we go, that's it. Wow. Uh, all the pickups for the last two weeks, mostly this week, but for the last two weeks. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Ta-ra.